Hi everyone, I'm very glad to introduce my new tool. It's named Topolograph. It uh, actually allows you to get your topology visual as well as get the shortest path from the source to destination and backup path if some particular link or nodes goes down. Additionally, it makes some prediction if uh, uh, what will be if some if we shut down some particular node or host, so we can get such results as how many SPT paths will be switched to the backup path, and uh, will our network be connected, or some subnets will be unavailable after such outage. My aim for today is to introduce you to the structure of Topolograph site and demonstrate work of two main algorithms. So let's get started. We have already here on the upload page of Topolograph and uh, it asks you to choose your vendor device. Actually currently two vendor device are available but I believe this range will be extended in the near future and txt file which keeps an output from the following command like uh, show IP OSPF database router show IP OSPF database network and etc. Previously I have uh, built this lab with one headquarter in the center, one big remote site on the left and the quite teeny remote site at the bottom. So I saved the output of OSPF link state database uh, from router 4 and uh, you can see the actual plot of this network is depicted here. Uh, we can check that uh, node 1.1 and 1.2 is connected with 3 and 4 routers 1.1 and 1, 1 and 2 uh, these uh, nodes are connected with nodes uh, routers 3 and 4 which at the same time are linked to routers 5 and 6 3 and 4 are connected with 5 and 6. At the same time they are connected to distribution switches 3 and 4 and border routers are connected also uh, to these switches. Where is it? Yes, 7 and 8 are connected to the switch and remote office with a single distribution a switch 10 and uh, edge router 8 is also connected to the border uh, routers for the remote access so how did I get such result I will show you in the next video but uh, if you don't have any link state database you can go to generate graph tab and actually generate the random topology all you need is specify the node numbers and uh, the density between nodes from zero when no one node is connected to the others and uh, one when you get full mesh topology. Well, I actually prefer 11 nodes with density 0.4. Let's press generate graph button. Great. So this is our random graph for today. Let's choose some source node uh, and destination and uh, find out the shortest path and backup path uh, so let's choose for example node 
zero uh, to node two. Okay, let's specify. We noted that link fail algorithm uh, is chosen by default. So just press find backup button. Uh, first of all, we can see the summary section where we can make sure that our part is uh, path is only partially backupped. Two out of four segment along the SPT path is backupped. The link between node zero and one, zero and one, and uh, four and five, four and five. Yes, it's true. These links do not have any backup paths. Uh, just below of summary section, plot with the shortest path, which you can see. Uh, we can see the path with the list of the nodes and the total cost of SPT path. We can actually zoom it in or zoom it out for the sake of simplicity of checking the path. Lower there are several plots with backup paths with the same structure. SPT total cost with the list of uh, nodes along the shortest path and um, backup paths with the backup paths total cost and the list of backup paths. Uh, what conclusion can we make from this plot? So if the link between nodes 1 and 5 goes down, our SPT path will switch to the two equal cost backup path through the node 6 and actually 3. Yes, go lower and uh, if link between node 2 and 4 goes down we also have the backup paths for the node 8 and 10. So that's how link uh, failure algorithm works. We have another option like uh, node failure algorithm and let's generate another example and probably it's better when we have not so so many yeah from one to eight from one to eight not fail algorithm yes what we actually would like to get path is partially backup. There are three nodes along the SPT path but only one can be switched off. So the node 2 is backupped. Let's see the SPT path. Uh, the total cost is 5. This is the list of SPT uh, nodes along the SPT path and if node 2 will be uh, shut down we can see the following backup path we have to switch to the another node node 3 and 0 and eventually we can reach node number 1 so the same uh, tools we have uh, uh, when you deal with the, the real uh, your topology so let's uh, find the SPT and backup path in our real topology from, for example, switch 1 to the um, router in the teeny remote office. Uh, 1, 1, 1, not 1. And uh, we have ac access layer oh let's call it just um, rotor in remote office to 
dot pen with link failure algorithms and what we would like to know five out of six segment along the SPT path is backup. It's quite pretty good um, results because only one link between uh, our router 2.8 and 2.10 doesn't have any backup paths so what we can find out from this example if link between our distribution switch uh, goes down we switch to the another path and uh, so the same logic will be with the all segments along the to the destination node let's check it the same nodes with the node failure algorithm how many nodes will be backed actually it's quite good uh, results only one node is not backed it's not Eight. All other nodes nodes are backed. For example, if we shut down our node, our ro router number three, all uh, these adjacency links uh, will go uh, down, and uh, we switched and goes for uh, router number four. So. If we shut down rotor border rotor number five, all such links uh, goes down, and we go through the node number six. So that's all for today. I hope that you will find this tool quite useful and uh, will be used in your daily routine tasks.